right, guys. I've been wanting to do this video for some time now. As you can tell, it's a cooking video. I don't really know where to start because I kind of start odd. Um, spaghetti. Pasta of some kind. I'm using bow tie this time around. Um, this is something I do a lot. I really enjoy it. Um, things you will need for this recipe are two large pots, one with a lid. This is the second one. This is the one I'm going to be boiling my pasta in. I'm waiting for it to boil, so you get the... This box calls... It's 12 ounces. It calls for uh, four quarts, which I think is eight cups. Two, two cups and a quart. This is about what I think it is. So you just let that boil. Okay. You're going to need pasta sauce of your choice, or if you make your own, or whatever. I use this uh, Great Value Chunky Italian Garden Pasta Sauce because it doesn't have any cheese and it doesn't have any sugar, which is hard to find. Just making sure, but yeah, I get two of these because I make a lot. It lasts a long time. You're going to need some kind of mushroom. You can, whatever kind you want. I usually get these pre-sliced bits of uh, sliced portobello and then cut them into even smaller chunks. Um, a tomato or two. This is kind of one that I need to get rid of. There's a little mold on it actually, but I think <laughs> I can cut that off. And um, this right here in this bag, this is kind of important. Um, this is Eve's ground vegan meat. It's kind of it's made of soy. Um, whenever I want to cook something, I usually just kind of don't. I don't really plan it. This is half of a package of that, which is all I use, um, because I use so much other stuff, um, and it's sitting in a bath of hot water to kind of thaw it out, and, um, I'm gonna, here in a minute, I'm going to put it in more hot water and thaw it out a little bit more before I simmer the sauce. Anyway, in the other pot. Um, in the sauce I also use, besides the tomato and mushrooms and meat. I use some a little bit of nutritional yeast, which doesn't really pick up a taste, but it kind of adds a flavor. Um, some kind of Italian seasoning. I use this cost me fifty cents. I don't. It's more for color. And then my favorite thing on earth is Lowry's garlic salt. So, and then to kind of take away some of the acidity, um, I use this is not Florida crystals. This is Zolka sugar, which is looks like this. I don't think I don't think I've ever shown you. Sorry guys. If you see my dirty kitchen. I've been working. I get lazy. Um you can find maybe find this in the ethnic Mexican aisle of your local grocery at Walmart. That's where I get it. Um it's a tad bit tad bit cheaper than Florida Crystals, which like raises up and down, so that's what I use. Okay. Um, anyway, so, um, I'm waiting for that water to boil, but right now I will come back. I'm going to start the sauce. So, those are kind of the key ingredients you need. And a knife, and a cutting board, and an imagination, and just a sense of taste. So, yeah, I'll be right back with you. That's boiling pretty well. I was chopping up some tomatoes and some mushrooms. Okay, I need to stir it up a bit. Alright, that, uh, there's that. That water's not quite to a roar the way I like it, but I'm, so I'm going to wait for that, but it's pretty boiling. Stick your finger in it, and, and you can see a little bit of steam. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is... Where my spoon rest is, but I guess I washed it. That'll work. Is add some of the nutritional yeast, and we're being very generous with the seasonings. This is before we put anything else in it, so we kind of want to start that off. All right. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Not much, but you know. Anyway, got that Lowry's. And I'm talking generous, you know, we're going to add more later, but start it generous. And then 
I'm not going to add onions to this because it tends to give me, I had wicked heartburn when I did that. So, here's that Italian seasoning. And then, here we go. Stirring with the two. Um, see, I'm making a sloppy mess. So, don't mind my dirty kitchen anyways. I'll clean it when I get to it. Okay. Alright, so, I'm going to go check on the Eve's meat. It's still kind of frozen. I lied, I didn't put it in more hot water, so. I'm going to go ahead and get this package out. The reason why I put it in a, free, in a bag is because this is the kind of package it comes in. And this is half of what they sell you at the store. So you put it in a bag when you do that because then it's quick to, to get out. Okay? This is, it looks like a ground beef, but it's made of soy. It's vegan. It's gluten free. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to take that over here and dunk, dump that in there. You can, thaw, you can even thaw that out more than I have. I'm just being lazy right now, but I'm kind of giving you the gist. Kind of chill it in the let it chill in the the middle. Okay. Now, there's the point where I add a little bit of olive oil and then some salt to that water so the noodles will be tender. Okay. Now, I got these um, great great value bow tie uh, pastas which they say they could have traces of eggs in it but usually they don't I don't know why this camera doesn't focus but anyway it doesn't have it actually in it uh, it's semolina pasta so I just have to say that it may contain traces of eggs probably doesn't so you know it's gonna be as good I've tried this stuff before I like to get it boiling first some people like to boil it at the same time I think it comes out better if you let the water get hot first so, checking the time, it's 6.31, you can't see that, <clears throat> so when, at about 6.45, I'm going to pour that into my colander, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and check on my meat, my technically meat in there, okay, the chunk is kind of coming apart. You probably should like let it thaw out a little longer than I did, but it'll be all right. Okay. So I'm gonna think. I'm saying that's about reduced to. If you look at that. About half of what it was. So what I'm gonna do is reduce the heat a little more. Add more seasoning, splatter, okay, add more garlic salt, add more Italian seasoning, add more nutritional yeast for color, really, okay. Sometimes what I like to do this that I didn't show you is... I'll take some kale because like a lot of times I work and stuff I get tired I don't know what I'm gonna want to do take some kale cut it up put it in the freezer bag um, let it freeze for however long and this is just like an accident I came up with and I've got two dirty spoons oh well and um, crunch it up into there to add a little bit but I don't put it in I put it in right at the end kind of like with my my beans on my gumbo so anyway, I got some of this chopped, that tomato and the mushrooms, bob that up, cut 
Come on. Well. You can come off easy. Okay. Trying to get situated here. Okay, throw mushrooms that fell. I'm a very messy cook. Now, stir that in. You can use criminy, you can use whatever you want. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I have more of these mushrooms. So, here's the mushrooms. We're going to go ahead and add the rest of those. Okay. Throw those in. That meat, that ground beef has come down quite a bit. And what I'm going to do now add a little more. Yeah, this is a lot of salt. Amber likes salt a lot. Okay. I wish I had some kale, frozen kale. That'd be great. Alright. Okay, now we're gonna grab the lid here. I'm gonna go check the time. So we got like seven minutes for the pasta. But what I want to do. Make sure that's not sticking. You don't want to overcook this, but you don't want to undercook it either. Okay. So about as long as it takes for that, we're going to let that simmer. talk with you. Okay. For a long time, um, I don't know, I've had this little apron thing here. I made this out of an oversized t-shirt that my friend really gave to me. I don't know if you can really tell what it is. Or anything like that. You see the back of it or anything like that. But if anyone's interested in learning how to make it, it's very simple. Um, so hit me up. But uh, I thought about sewing pockets, but kind of never did. Um, yeah. Um, here in the near, near, very, very near future, probably tonight I'm going to record a haul video for some stuff I got from Goodwill, with some, like, photos, and, um, also talk about my Elf products, so, something fun to do. I'll see you here in about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. We're going to spend about 15, 16 minutes, so it's time to dump the noodles. I'm going to check on the sauce, though, real quick. It's, it's rumbling in there. Rumbling. Moving all around. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is turn that off. And as you can see, I had a little middle of this hat. Okay. So, we're going to do the water. Dirty, dirty dishes. Okay, turn the heat off. Dump, dump that. So you put that on the back burner. 
there. And then put that on the back burner. It's mess, mess, mess. Take your sauce. Remove that. So it's kind of simmering. <laughs> and then I will come back to it. I'll come right back to it and show you the finished plate. <clears throat> so here's the plated pasta bow ties. You may ask yourself why I'm deciding to use bow ties instead of like say regular pasta. I've used the veggie spirals before but there's something I, I've never really eat these a whole lot and I tried them a while back and there's something very appealing to bo about bow ties to me. Maybe it's because of my love of Pee Wee Herman. I don't know. But anyway, something I want to do, um, try something different actually. I usually put the spinach on top. I'm going to put the pasta and some, some fresh spinach on before I put the sauce. necessary to show you I guess but I ladle on my sauce and you can add a little more spinach if you'd like um, that's a really kind of a small portion for me I go ahead and add even more garlic salt and a little bit of nutritional yeast and so if you wanted to plate this make a huge mess today I'm just clumsy make this really pretty you could <clears throat> I'm not really about food doesn't have to look perfect to me but the way that one looks. <laughs> you can kind of make it look like that. Um, so there you go. Um, hopefully you enjoy my version of that and give me ideas about, I don't know, other things that you do with your sauce. I know that people add carrots. I've done that before and that's really good. Um, also, let me know if you want to know how to make an apron like this. It's not really hard. Alright. I'm going to eat now. There's pasta on the camera. Have a nice night. I will see you after a while. Bye. time.